My name is Dr. Eric Foreman. I'm a physician at Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey. I grew up in Staten Island, New York, and um, Staten Island's famous for some of the world's best pizza and Italian ices, and it's always a, a great place to go home and visit my parents. My favorite movie is Casablanca. I um, just really drawn to the characters and the drama and you know big life or death decisions and um, even though I've seen it many times each time I'm just riveted by it. Lifelong Mets fan and passionate about that through all the, the rough times and you know I think as a you know sports fan you have to be loyal and, and devoted to your team and and it's worth it when they, they finally come through the, the rough times and then have a good season. I'm married and I, I've been with my wife since back in college. We have, along the way, um, had our own family. We have three young children and, and through that, I've, I've developed a new appreciation um, even beyond my you know, medical training for how important a family can be and, and what a big decision it is to, to become a parent. I try to strike a balance between you know, taking care of my patients and and my, my kids and, you know, and my wife are you know, very accustomed to me being on the phone you know, on the weekends at night. They know that, that our patients you know, sometimes need to, to speak to a physician at, um, you know, at any given time. I went to Duke University in North Carolina, had a great um, college experience there and met some great people and learned a lot. Um, after college, I actually worked as a medical reporter for a newspaper in New Jersey for a couple of years. And during that time, I decided to to um, become a physician and go to medical school. I finally um, enrolled at SUNY Downstate College of Medicine in Brooklyn. I lived in Park Slope for a few years while I was in medical school. Um, I had a great training there. It's a very, um, very busy um, medical center. And then after that um, experience, I went back to, to North Carolina and did my training in obstetrics and gynecology at Duke University Hospital, which is a um, you know, really world-class facility for both um, women's health care and, and basically all fields of medicine. So I got a great training experience at Duke University. And after, after my obstetrics and gynecology training, I decided to pursue a career in reproductive endocrinology. I searched around the, the country to find the best, uh, the best training program for my fellowship, and I found that at um, Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey combined with UMDNJ Robert Wood Johnson Medical School. I get excited throughout my whole life about solving problems and you know I, I, I really um, enjoy helping a couple navigate through the problem, what's, what often seems like a big mystery of, of why, why this isn't working for them, why they're not you know, having success at conceiving. A lot of patients are concerned about you know, not just twins but, but even higher order multiples. They, they see Octomom in the news and they're, they're worried about what reproductive endocrinologists do. And, you know, it really just takes just that first visit and a little bit of education that, that really that's definitely the exception and that's not, you know, our, um, our expected goal or something that we think is really acceptable. And you know, our goal is really to have one healthy baby at a time and and where you know our research has shown that that's that's possible for almost all patients. RMA is um, is really uniquely committed to to clinically relevant research to trying to make outcomes better, trying to make every patient really have the best opportunity to to have a healthy delivery. But most patients would prefer to have one baby at a time, and and with CCS with comprehensive chromosome screening, we don't, we don't compromise their chances in, the, in that first transfer. And also they have the opportunity to come back and, and have that second baby because those normal embryos are frozen for future transfers. You know, I hope that um, you know, my patients realize that, I, that I'm there for all of their needs, really, that this is not a nine to five job, that I'm, I'm you know, with, with all the technology today, we're always available and, and Part of one of the great things about RMA is that we have a great electronic medical, you know, record system. We can always look in on on patient cycles. We can look at their ultrasound exams, even if we can't, you know, be in the room that day. So, um, you know, I, I always look out for my patients, and I'm always there for them. And and no issue, you know, whether you know, big or small, is is something that I that I can't be reached about.